Hello, everybody. This is Dr. A. The Q&A with Dr. A. I apologize. We were having technical difficulties again. Um, so I hope all you guys can see me. Um, anyway, we are going to talk about how to get through the holidays. I think that uh, at this point, everyone's probably dropped off, um, you know, because we were having tef technical difficulties for the last 10 minutes. So I do apologize. Uh, anyway, uh, the things that we're going to talk about today is how to survive the holidays. And, you know, as a family practitioner, uh, wellness physician, I do get a lot of people uh, talking about what is the best things to do for um, the holidays and how you can better prepare yourself and how you can actually uh, get through them without really doing too much damage to all the hard work that you put in for through the whole year. And so I want to go through uh, six things that I think are really important. And the first one is, again, um, being healthy and finding your best wellness is about uh, uh, having a good lifestyle. And we talk about that, and I talk about that all the time with everyone. And so when you have a good lifestyle, uh, holidays and, and uh, going on uh, vacations and specific events, those are called outpoints or, or times when we should plan to fail instead of fail to plan. And what I mean for that is if you plan to fail, you know during holidays and vacations, that you are not going to eat uh, and act exactly the way you do during the majority of your uh, time when you're working hard on your lifestyle. So if you are planning to fail, you are automatically putting yourself in a mode where you know you're going to do things different. And so, you, you know, a lot of times when people get on diets, um, then they don't work. It's because they do not think they can ever sway from the eating strategy they're doing or the diet they're doing. And what they do is they end up failing by eating something they weren't supposed to do or, or eat and then they're they get down on themselves and then you know what they do it's self-sabotage they then they then can say okay well i'm already off forget it I'll, I'm, I'll start tomorrow and then they never get back on their program and they take that as a failure and then they take it personally which then affects them getting back into their lifestyle so if you plan to fail um just let's so, set yourself up for the holidays knowing that you're going to go into this uh, with a little bit different uh, eating habits and potentially alcohol too. Um, but you got to think of also this is that it's holidays and holiday means that there are days during the holiday season where this will be, um, ac you know, actually something that you would uh, look at swaying from your normal uh, lifestyle. It's not, you, you know, I kind of make fun out of it. Instead of saying holiday, you can call it the holla month. But that's not the case. Holidays is a season um, of, of, of reflecting and, thank, and being thankful and celebrating. But there are days in that holiday season is where you really look to, to have fun and uh, eat differently. So don't use it as a holiday month. Use it as a holiday. And on those days, go have fun. You know, know that you're not going to eat the same because you put all the hard work in. And so that is the most important thing is this. Just don't 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 fail to plan and, and go into the holiday season thinking that you're going to do everything perfect and you're not going to eat differently. You're not going to stay up later. Um, so that brings us to number two, which is lifestyle, which I always say. So we're going to talk about two, three and four, which is sleep diet and exercise. So during the holidays, everything becomes very uh, difficult for a lot of people, but you have to play your own game. And that means your lifestyle has to reflect into your holiday season. And so that you can still get some of the key base, the key functions of you living and being as healthy as you can. Um, you know, some people don't do the same things that you're doing and you have to understand that's okay. Some people drink until they pass out. Some people eat until they're in a food coma. Some people don't sleep at all and they don't ever have a real routine. This is your game, your journey, your life. So when you're looking at your sleep, just make sure that you guys are understanding that when there's reason to go to bed, go to bed. You don't have to be the last person up at night. You can actually go to bed at a reasonable time, still later than you normally do, um, and the and, and still make some ha uh, keep your sleep habits. And so the other part of it is uh, napping. People talk about napping all the time. Some people will eat and then take naps after they eat. Napping has been kind of looked at by a lot of different uh, research and trying to figure out what defines napping and if napping is good or if napping is actually uh, something that could interfere with your sleep cycle. But what they have is they, they do have research to show that naps between 10 and, 10 and 30 minutes can actually be helpful. So if you're going to take a nap, set your watch because if you start getting in past that 30 minutes, you actually can interfere uh, with your sleep cycle and also uh, interfere and actually come out of your nap drowsy. 
And so 10 to 30 minute naps usually revive people, uh, improve their creativity and, uh, and keep them feeling well. So naps are fine, especially if you stay up later than you normally do or end up eating a little bit differently and you get tired after it, but just don't, um, just don't try to sway too far from your sleep cycle every day. Remember again, on specific holidays, sure, stay up late and everything, but don't do it every uh, night out of the month of the holiday season, because that definitely will start to interfere with the progress that you've been working so hard on. Um, as far as diet goes, uh, again, this is, this is your game, your journey. Um, so during the holiday seasons, specific holidays, you might uh, enjoy the food that, that you guys cook and your family cooks and friends cook. Um, but when you pick your plate and you fill your plate up, just look at what's on the table and it's gonna be very easy for you to see what's healthy, what might not be healthy, uh, and what is definitely not healthy. And so you can fill your plate up with some protein sources. You can always find some uh, little portions of each of the other uh, op options that you have at the table that you know might have more uh, sugar in it or might be um, uh, not exactly on your on your eating plan, but you can still fill your plate up, but just fill up one plate. Um, as you know, you don't have to eat so much that you end up feeling bloated or sick. Fill your plate up with little portions of everything the, that you like, uh, and that's it. And then, you know, if you want to have a little bit more food later, you can, but just don't uh, gorge yourself with, with some of these, um, uh, with too much food and, and overfill your plate. Um, and then the last one is exercise. Exercise is uh, exercise is a, a another thing that's very important, and this is why I like it is because it's the work reward type mentality. If you are going to eat and you know you're going to eat differently uh, on a specific holiday, go work out in the morning. You feel completely less guilty about the way you're going to eat. Plus, you already got your bodies, and your body's going to be able to utilize some of those uh, uh, some of that food uh, for for the calories you burned off. And it's very easy to do that in the morning. Um, just set your alarm, get up. And that's the little decisions that you make that makes the biggest difference in how well you feel and how good you look, uh, both mentally and, and physically. And so, um, so remember, sleep, diet, and exercise. These are important things for you that you've worked really hard to put into place. So don't completely lose them during the holidays. Just know that they're going to be different. But whatever you can, grab and keep in that regimen. And then another one is uh, setting boundaries. Uh, so when you guys uh, realize that time is the most valuable asset and we have limited amounts of it, you can't do everything. And I imagine all you guys uh, would find yourself in situations where you could find something to do every single night during the holiday season, tons of parties, tons of gatherings, having people over. Um, but you have to pick and choose wisely and you, you, you'll start to understand this more as you get through holiday seasons and actually look at look at the situation. But, um, you, you know, you can't overstress yourself. Stress is, is both good and bad. And when you're in the holiday season and you're not getting sleep, your exercise might not be the same. You're eating differently. Um, you do have to pick and choose how you're going to use your time so you don't. Um, you, you know, you don't overdo it. You don't overcommit yourself uh, and find yourself, uh, you, you know, really in a situation where um, the fun and, and relationships and friends that you have in town start to become stressful. So you really have to sit and think about the holiday season and think about who you're going to use your time with. Um, it, it's, you know, obviously the holidays are for family and friends, but sometimes you find yourself, uh, if, you know, committing to things that you really regret. So think about these these parties and get togethers before you commit to them so that you can use those days to get your rest, get your exercise and eat healthy. And then you can utilize the people that you really do want to spend time with. And that's when you can uh, really enjoy the holiday time uh, and sway from your normal routine. So I'm ho hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Uh, does anyone have any idea what the last tip for surviving the holidays would be? If anyone's listening, come on, you can uh, give me your thoughts. But I know I scared a lot of people off with my 10 minute delay because I am challenged a little bit with Facebook and, uh, and electronic, uh, especially live streaming. This is my only third time doing it. Um, but anyway, the last one is have fun. And that is the most important thing for the holiday season is that, you know, the end of the year is an amazing time to connect with people or reconnect with people and take this message seriously because I is so important that you guys understand that if there's been ever any arguments or uh, disagreements or, or, or just 
you know, discontent with people in your family or friends that have been very meaningful to you, put that in your past, be the one to reach out to these people, put everything behind you. There's, I can't, you can't say sorry enough to people. And, uh, and at this point of, of life, especially after the last couple of years of how hard it's been on everybody, it's really important that you, you reconnect with people that you might've been disconnected from and see if there's still something there that you can do, especially family. And work really hard during the time when you're with your family, concentrate on, on them, ask them questions about what's going on in their lives, really be involved in the people that you're around. And that's what I was saying, time is super valuable. So when you are with people, um, be engaged and, and really be happy that you have this time that we're alive. There's been a lot of death and there's been a lot of, uh, of change in this last couple of years. And so I think this year should be a year of celebration like no other really. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing all my family and uh, I just really can't stress that enough is that, you know, don't text people that can't be with you this year, FaceTime them, call them on the phone, but you really have to connect with people on a different level because relationships are being shifted uh, and it's just too much, um, you know, texting and emailing and not enough communicating. And I think if you guys just take that seriously and, re and connect with your family that isn't going to be uh, with you face to face, uh, I think you're going to find that that's probably the most important aspect of the holidays that you might not have done in the past. Because when people want something different uh, than maybe uh, the holidays where, you know, it didn't go so well or there was some fighting or arguing in the holidays, which I know could happen in a lot of uh, large family gatherings, do something different this year. Um, so that's that's really the last thing is have fun during the holidays because you can see you still can navigate through them even when you're in a healthy regimen, you can still have a lot of fun and not even look like you're paying so much attention to uh, to your health, your sleep, diet, and exercise, uh, and really use this time to enjoy um, foods and drinks and, and celebrations. Just remember, it's a holiday. There's a few of them throughout this holiday season. The rest of the time, it is you know you're still back to work, so you can really take the time off and enjoy that period of uh, of time with your friends and family. So I hope that all makes sense. I promise you next time there will not be any uh, issues with our uh, with our, our streaming. Um, I got it set up now. I think that I understand what I was doing wrong, so I do apologize. And uh, again, thank you very much. It's Q&A with Dr. A. Uh, if you have any other questions that you want us to talk about in these uh, streams, please let us know. Thank you and have a happy Thanksgiving.